You're here, I'm here. Good music here to be played and to be talked about. If I've earned your subscription by the end of this video, I'll be ever so grateful. I'm Alan, this is Alan Reacts. See you on that side of the tape. Hello all, welcome and welcome back. If it's your first time, this is Alan. Alan Reacts, my little corner of the YouTube world. Dan Vask I'm going to visit today for the fifth or sixth time. It's been a little while though, and this is Scarborough Fair. There is such a rich history of this song, um, not just from Simon and Garfunkel, and we can get into that in later down the line. This isn't a particularly long video, so I'll get the chunk of it in with maybe one, maybe two interruptions max, so stick with me guys. Let's enjoy the song together. I'm reacting to a song I know, but never seen Dan Vask perform it. So here we go. Love the intro, but parsley, sage, and rosemary and thyme. They're, they're herbs with symbolic meaning. Death, afterlife, wisdom. Rosemary's with remembrance and thyme with courage and strength. So literally that's what this is going to... He's telling you. Taking, he's taking you on the journey with those symbolic meanings already when it was first written back, way back. And we'll get into that, but let's pull it back. And I want to hear it, and then I'll let it go. Are you going to Scarborough Fair? Parsley, sage, rosemary, and I noticed when I watched Dan's videos, did you see the beginning how the you had the burning herbs, you had the smoke in the background, I'm pretty sure that's what it was signifying, that that was the burning of the, the herbs, sage, rosemary and thyme, and the tempo of the song is lovely, it's just slightly beyond uh, folky, but it still has a folky element, it's certainly slightly beyond how Sam Nagar Funkel released it, but it still holds true to the song, loving it. Are you going? 
I mean, Adeste Fidelis and Gethsemane, other songs I've reacted to. I particularly enjoyed Gethsemane. But I really enjoyed that for the reasons I thought I wouldn't. It definitely held true to a folk song that first had its first kind of iteration back in the 1600s and allegedly written and claimed in 1890, released by other artists in other forms. It's essentially a, a, a folk song that was written sort of half an hour's drive from me in, in the in the 1800s maybe before a folk song it's a war song it's really about impossible lost tasks and lost love if you listen to it you know to make a, a sickle of leather well you can't do that yeah not unless you were cutting ice cream um and that's just the theme throughout the song with regret and nostalgia and reflections on war and peace, the soldier. It's really a, an impossible love song and an impossible time for an impossible romance. It's multi-layered. It's very traditional English folk ballad. really is traditional. Um, you'll hear that up and down the coast from sort of the east coast, the west coast, down to Devon and Dorset. You'll hear it all across the middle of the land. Different themes across different areas. But love that. Very rich in symbolism. But the way he performs it, when he said, make me, that's very stylized English, the way he said that. That was del definitely deliberate. And I've really impressed me that he's gone to that length. Because English is not his first language. I'm not sure it's mine. This just gives me another layer to this performer. And I'm sure Simon and Garfunkel would be saying the same. I'm sure Paul Simon would say, hats off to you, you did it with homage, but you did it in your own way. You did it as Dan Vask. Loved it. I wasn't transported anywhere else. I wasn't thinking of the Paul Simon song, although I know it well. Uh, you'll hear me, you'll see on the channel, Simon and Garfunkel, Paul Simon are on there. Uh, April Comes, You Will, is, is probably been played before now. A beautiful song. And Baby Driver and all that. Lovely songs. But that was great. Really enjoyed it. He really makes me feel like I've been entertained visually and audially without any struggle. Till next time, guys. Take care. Thumbs up if you like it. Join if you like it. Tell me where to go next. Take care, guys. This is Alan Reacts. I'm Alan, your host. If I've earned your subscription by the end of this video, I'd be ever, ever, ever so grateful. But most of all, I want you to have a good time. I'm Alan. This is Alan Reacts. See you on that side of the table.